Carlos Menem was, for many Argentines, a man from another time and another place. He was born in the remote mountainous northwestern province of La Rioja to Syrian immigrant parents. Menem became governor of his home province in 1973, representing the Peronist party founded by the former president Juan Perón. He adopted the style with his gaucho dress and white sideburns of 19th century rural heroes and brought to Buenos Aires flamboyance and panache, mixing with showbiz and sporting celebrities and driving fast cars. He came to power in 1989 as Argentina was suffering hyperinflation. With his influential economics minister, Domingo Cavallo, he implemented a plan credited with ending the economic crisis, along with large-scale privatization of state industries. His second term in office saw rising unemployment and increasing social discontent. A prisoner during military rule, he helped steer Argentina from brutal repression, although some criticized him for making too many concessions to those same repressors. He failed to change the Argentine constitution, limiting him to two consecutive terms in office, but ran for the presidency again in 2003, standing down before the second round of voting, when it became clear he'd lose to the eventual president, Nestor Kirchner. Menem was no stranger to controversy, convicted of smuggling weapons to Croatia and Ecuador, and investigated on various corruption charges. He'll be remembered with mixed emotions by Argentines who lived through the 1990s. One thing they will all agree on, however, life with Carlos Menem as president was never dull.